this is Elaine with Elaine's Creations and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this easel card with the sweet gingerbread bundle. All right here is my sweet gingerbread easel card. I love making easel cards and I started off with a crumb cake card base and then a layer of white and then I embossed this piece of pool party with the painted texture embossing folder to get this cool embossed look. I think it kind of looks like a sky. So I'm just gonna make sure that this lines up well and then I can just adhere it down to my basic white layer. And then we're gonna do a little bit of scoring to create our easel. So we're gonna score at uh, two and three quarters. And two and three quarters is um, half of five and a half. Actually, I think I want to go this way. Um, just um, when you cut the paper, there's kind of a rough edge and a softer edge. So I want to go with the softer edge. And I'm going to lay this down flat. So I'm just going to put uh, some adhesive on this top layer only. Okay, and then we're going to put um, a piece inside that's a tiny bit smaller. So this is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And um, this can be for our message and to hold our little um, easel in place. We'll stamp a sentiment and adhere that on with a dimensional on this piece. So we will just center this so that when we fold this over, it will be hidden. Okay, so now for the fun, fun parts. So I have a slope that I cut out of the snowy white velvet. And so I'm just going to adhere this one down flat. So it's just gonna go at the bottom here. And uh, if you want, if it's a little bit too long, we can just trim it off. Okay, so there's our snowy slope. And then um, I have cut out the fence out of crumb cake and I've used the um, self-adhesive sheets just to make the adhesion easier. So I'm just going to measure this across here. So I'm going to cut it after this one right here. Okay, so I can use this on another card. And then this is going to get sticky and messy. So uh, you're going to peel off the backing and hope that most of these little pieces stick to the backing so that they won't stick to you. Okay, looks like all the bottoms came off. I'm gonna have to collect the top ones. So I'm just going to bend the paper towards me and uh, it'll pop up these little pieces so I can stick them all together in one big sticky leftover cardstock mess. <laughs> it's like a ant pile or something. Okay, so now we can put this on the bottom here. And it's a perfect fit for our fence to go all the way across. 
Okay, now I'm going to have some fun stamping. So we have our gingerbread house in crumb cake. I'm going to stamp off and make it a little bit lighter. Looks more rustic and ginger bread y. And then we're going to do the little fun ornament on the top here. And we can also do the outline of the door and windows. And then we can do the windows in pool party. Then we can do the door in Blushing Bride. The door is super cute. It has a little heart on it. All right, so now we are going to cut out our Gingerbread. Okay, so now we have our gingerbread house. I've already cut out a blushing bride roof and I've got a couple of granny apple green trees and some polished pink lollipops and some gum drops in various colors. Super fun. And then we have um, a little cloud that we can stamp a sentiment on and a deckled rectangle that we can stamp our other sentiment on. I'm just gonna add a couple of trees to this side. The last step is to embellish with some pearls. So I like putting the large pearls on the lollipops. And 
and the small pearls I like to use one for the door and then the two others just to embellish and there is my sweet gingerbread easel card so I'm offering a free class when you purchase the bundle and it will include this gingerbread house card and this two-step gingerbread card. Just uh, place the order for the bundle or $50 order using my current postcode and email me and let me know that you would like this gingerbread card kit and I will send it right out to you. Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial using the Sweet Gingerbread Bundle. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that you know every time I go live. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.